how to make unique, quick and easy accent pieces using crates. Hey guys, Seed of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be transforming crates into functional accent pieces. I'll be using a leftover fabric as part of the items that I'll be using for this project. And so far, so good. This is what I have, but I'm going to cut it down to the size that I'll be needing to cover up this wood. This is the wood that's going to be at the back of a chair because I will be making two chairs and a side table. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to keep this aside and then take one of the crates and cover it up with a fleece fabric and a fabric that I got from Walmart. I'll be attaching two pieces of wood for the front legs of the chair. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach what I made earlier at the back. I'm going to have two screws here at the top, at the bottom, and one screw in the middle right here. These are long pieces of wood that I'm going to be adding at the back of the chair to make the chair longer. I covered it up with mirror reflective paper, and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I attached the wood pieces at the bottom for it to look wider at the top. And I use screws to attach the wood pieces. And I'm going to be adding more here at the bottom. This is an old tray that I haven't used in a while that I'll be using at the upper part of the chair. This is really strong. It kind of feels like metal, but it's composed of something a little bit like wood. But bottom line is it's really, really strong. So I'm going to be using a drill gun to make holes on the tray to make it easy for me to attach this tray to the chair. After attaching it, I covered the middle part with the leather faux fabric that I had at the middle of the chair. Now I'm going to be covering the rough edges with the other fabric.
I'll be adding a little design at the top of the chair using pieces that I got from Dollar Tree Mirrors. This is a short clip of how I have used this before in the past. And the link for this particular video is gonna be down in the description box below. So these Dollar Tree Mirrors are plastic. So I basically just cut off all of the sides and spray painted them silver and attached them to my mirror in the old video. So now in this video, I did the same thing, but I'll be attaching just two at the top part here of the chair using screws. I'll be adding a Dollar Tree tray at the top. I just removed the middle part and attached it to the chair with a strong adhesive. The back was covered with canvas panel and a little fabric. For the table, I'm just gonna cover the sides with canvas panel and then cut a piece of foam board to be the same size as the glass that I'll be using for the top. And all I'm gonna do is just simply placing the glass at the top. The edges will be covered with the same fabric that I used for the chair. I also use the same fabric to cover up the edges on the wood that's in the middle of the chair. I already had a seat cover that has fur with wood. It's really important that you use hard wood as you're making the sitting so that it doesn't break because it's plastic. This is a simple set that can be outside if you used wood that can allow for external weather. This will be perfect for an outdoor and all you have to do is substitute the wood and the fabric into the ones that can tolerate outdoor weather. I like this the way it is, but then if you don't like the design, you can always switch it up to suit your style. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Washed in